Hello students of grade 11. Today we will be studying yet another type of past tense, the past perfect tense. In previous lessons, we have discussed the simple past tense and the past continuous tense. So if you want to get an idea of these other tenses, you can view them. The past perfect tense is also known as the pluperfect tense. It is a verb tense that is used to talk about actions completed before some point in the past. The past perfect tense is for talking about something that happened before something else. Imagine you step outside in the afternoon to buy a bun from the bakery down the road. On your way back, you notice an accident that took place early that morning on the road. You notice shards of glass and maybe a smashed car. When you meet a friend later on, how would you describe this situation? This morning, I went to the bakery to buy a bun. On my way back, I noticed that there had been an accident on the road. Now, had been is your past perfect tense. So basically, we use this tense to describe two actions in the past. Let's see how you form the past perfect tense. The past perfect tense is formed using had plus past participle. If you want to make questions using the past perfect form, you can invert the subject and had. Let's look at some examples. The first example is a statement. She had studied English before she moved to Colombo. As you can see, the past perfect tense is had studied. The second example is in the form of a question. Had you studied English before you moved to Colombo? Notice how had and the subject has been inverted. The final example is in the negative. You had not studied English before you moved to Colombo. When transforming your statement into the negative, place not after had. So what are the uses of the past perfect tense? The first use is that the past perfect tense expresses the idea that something occurred before another action in the past. It can also show that something happened before a particular point of time in the past. Let's look at some examples. I had never seen such beautiful hills until I went to Kandy. Senuk knew what Sigria was like because he had studied it for history. My mother knew exactly what to get me for my birthday because I had told her what I wanted last week. We were not able to visit any of the relics because we had not bought tickets in advance. The words in red are examples of the past perfect tense. The second use is when we show that something started in the past and continued up until another action in the past. Let's look at some examples. We had used that car for 10 years before it broke down. By the time Shanti finished her course, she had been in Gaul for over three years. They felt bad about selling their car because they had owned it for over 10 years. So what's the difference between the past perfect tense and the simple past? When you're talking about some point in the past and want to make reference to an event that happened even earlier, using the past perfect helps you convey the sequence of the events. It is also very clear and very specific. Look at the difference between these two sentences. Jamila was relieved that her son washed up the dishes after dinner. Jamila was relieved that her son had washed up the dishes after dinner. Which sentence do you prefer? And can you see a difference? Well, there is a subtle difference in the first sentence. Jamila was relieved that her son washed up the dishes after dinner suggests that the act of washing up the dishes after dinner was a habit that possibly would have taken place during a couple of times in the past. By using the simple past, this idea can be brought out. 
Now let's look at the second example that is written using the past perfect tense. Jamila was relieved that her son had washed up the dishes after dinner. In this sentence, by using the past perfect tense, it is clear that we are talking about one specific incident that took place in the past. Jamila's son had washed up the dishes and through the past perfect, we know that it was a one-off action in the past. We also use the past perfect tense when you express a condition and a result. For example, you could say, if I had woken up at 5 a.m. this morning, I would have caught the early morning train to Candy. As you can see by using if, you are giving a condition. If I woke up early and the possible result is I would have caught the train to Candy, which is given in the past perfect tense. Always remember the main reason we write verb in the past perfect tense is to indicate that an action has happened before other actions in the past. If you are writing a paragraph using the past tense, chances are you will use a lot of simple past and one or two sentences in the past perfect tense. Writing an entire paragraph with every verb in the past perfect tense is unusual. So when don't we use the past perfect tense? You don't use the past perfect tense when you are asked to convey a sequence of events. We can use the past continuous tense and the simple past tense when describing a sequence of events that have taken place in the past. Let's now look at some common regular verbs in the past perfect tense. As you can see, the table will show you the infinitive, the past perfect and the negative of every word. Let's read it together. To ask, had asked, had not asked. To work, had worked, had not worked. To call, had called, had not called. To use, had used, had not used. Let's now look at some common irregular words. To be, had been, had not been. To have, had had, had not had. To do, had done, had not done. To say, had said, had not said. To get, had gotten, had not gotten. To make, had made, had not made. To go, had gone, had not gone. To take, had taken, had not taken. To see, had seen, had not seen. To come, had come, had not come. The past participle of to get is gotten in American English. In British English, the past participle is got. So now that you have an idea of the past perfect tense, let's do an exercise. In this exercise, you have to use the past simple and the past perfect tense. Always remember that the past perfect tense is used when we are describing two actions in the past. Using the words in parenthesis, complete the text below with the appropriate tenses. I can't believe I got that apartment. I submitted my application last week, but I didn't think I had a chance of actually getting it. When I showed up to take a look around, there were at least 20 other people who had arrived before me. Most of them had already filled out their applications and were already leaving. The landlord said I could still apply, so I did. I tried to fill out the form, but I couldn't answer half of the questions. They wanted me to include references, but I didn't want to list my previous landlord because I had had some problems with him in the past and I knew he wouldn't recommend me. I ended up listing my father as a reference. It was total luck that he decided to give me the apartment. It turns out that the landlord and my father had gone to high school together. He decided that I could have the apartment before he had looked at my credit report. I really lucked out. 
Well, you would have noticed that there is no way you can write the whole text in the past perfect. We need to use past tenses too to give your answer a variety and a fabulous style. And that draws our lesson on the past perfect tense to an end. I hope you understood it and will join us for all our other lessons too. If you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe to this channel. See you next time.